I am Brittany and I thought I would do my first little video I'm um, doing a little bit of cooking for you to show you how I prepare spaghetti so um, tonight I am making deer spaghetti that is what we have we are hunters um, we like to be able to stock our freezer with some meat that is a little bit more affordable at times um, if you are not though you are more than welcome to use lean ground beef ground turkey or ground chicken um, you just want to make sure that you use a meat that is lean and that way you can avoid less amount of grease so I have gone ahead here and bear with me a little bit I'm this is my first time so um, I have gone ahead here and prepared over here I chopped up about an onion and a half um, lots of garlic as you can see and um, a large bell pepper. I also have some crushed tomatoes here, opened and ready to go, and some diced tomatoes ready to go. I have a couple of pots here. The um, ground deer or ground venison has been cooking, and I have a pot back here with some EVOO ready to go. So what I do is I am notorious for just chopping and dropping. Um, so. I've cooked up some extra, or chopped up some extra garlic and onions because the meat is so lean, I'm able to put it in with the meat. So I'm gonna put about half of this onion in here with the ground deer and about half of this garlic and get that in there too. That's gonna help flavor the meat some to help build on the layers um, for the spaghetti. More recently with my journey, I have started using Spaghetti squash, I love spaghetti squash. However, it's pretty chilly out today and I just did not wanna run by the store whenever I came home. So I do have some whole wheat pasta in the pantry on hand that I'm going to use this evening. And um, it's going to work fine for my meal plan that I am currently utilizing with the hammer and chisel program. And um, I had not anticipated cooking this for supper, but I did, um, I have not had any carbs yet for the day, so I'm going to be completely fine having the whole wheat pasta. So I have put in the onion and the garlic in here in the, in the pan with the meat. I am now going to season with some sea salt. And I just, I wanna say liberally season, but then again, I do not liberally season at the same time. Um, just kind of estimate. Um, probably about a teaspoon and a half altogether. And I'm gonna put some ground pepper in, about the same amount. And that's all I'm going to put in the deer meat. So next I'm going to take all of the rest of the um, garlic and onions. You can hear it sizzling. I'm throwing it back in that pan with that EVOO. And this is going to make my homemade sauce. So you'll just wanna have that on a low simmer. I have it a little bit higher than what I want, right now. want it right now, so I turned it down. And I'm getting the rest of that in there. Again, season a little bit with some salt and pepper to your tasting. Just be very careful whenever you're using salt. You don't wanna overdo it. And next, since we are making um, spaghetti, I'm going to use an Italian seasoning. I um, do about a whole palmful. That's gonna be about a good tablespoon and a half. And then I just dump that right in there. And I will stir that around. And you're gonna wanna just let that cook on low and let the veggies sweat out. So I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. I'm gonna stir my meat here. And then this is when I would get my water going, um, a huge pot of water boiling in this case since I'm using pasta. If I was using spaghetti squash, I would just cut the spaghetti squash in half, put it face down, or scoop out the seeds, sorry. Put it face down on a cookie sheet and throw it in a 375 degree oven for about 45 minutes and then you can scrape it and the spaghetti will form. It's really, really good. It's very sweet, I think. Um, 
just kind of a little tidbit there. So once the onions and garlic and green peppers completely sweat down and they get soft and translucent, I will add in my can of crushed tomatoes. One of the things with um, my program or clean eating, which is what I follow, is I make sure that the ingredients are very minimal. So this just has tomatoes, tomato puree, salt, and citric acid, which is another reason why you wanna be really careful whenever you are seasoning your meat and your pasta, your, your uh, pasta sauce, as well as whenever you season your boiling water for the pasta. Um, also the same with the diced tomatoes. I will throw these in the pan as well. So, um, this video is here to just kind of help you. I would love to hear any comments, feedback, and what you think. So, I'm going to leave you with this today so I can get everything finished up. I hope you have a great night. Thanks.